Hi, this is Larry Lane for InvestorZoo.com and today we're going to talk about uh, rental property and uh, the real cost of owning a rental property. Um, if you just come across a great rental property, either on a foreclosure or on a short sale, uh, they can be an excellent investment for the long term. Uh, before putting down a big down payment though, uh, let's go over some expenses you'll incur. Uh, obviously, you're going to have a mortgage uh, on the house. Uh, so this will be considered a second mortgage. Uh, you'll probably have to pay a higher interest rate on it uh, since this is considered uh, a rental property or an investment property uh, you are going to have a higher interest rate than if you uh, were to buy uh, just your personal re residence um, do you have enough money in case the house or your part or your condo or whatever you're buying doesn't rent for a few months uh, you'll definitely want to have three to six months of uh, expenses in back of you in case your property doesn't rent uh, insurance is another cost that you're going to have to have. Um, you can contact your local insurance company and ask for an umbrella policy. Uh, you'll need coverage on uh, things as a slip and fall, um, accidental death in your uh, in your in your premises, or uh, a slip and fall. Uh, as a landlord, you're responsible for everything. Um, Management company fees. Uh, will you be collecting the rent or will you be uh, hiring a management company to collect the money for you and uh, to hire out contractors when things uh, get, get broken in the house? Uh, generally, a uh, management fee management company may charge fees of anywhere between 5 and 10% of the mortgage that they're collecting. Um, legal fees. Um, do you have a lawyer uh, lined up in case one of your uh, tenants sue you or... Um, do you have a lawyer to draw up your uh, your initial leases? Uh, something else that you'll need to, to factor into your overall expenses of uh, of your rental property. Uh, advertising fees. Uh, depending upon what type of area you're in, you may need to advertise your place, such as uh, rent.com or apartments.com. Um, do you have that expense covered uh, in your in your business plan? Uh, you may only have to do it a few times, uh, but you never know when one of your tenants is just going to get up and leave and you have to get this uh, uh, your, your apartment or your, your condo rented quickly. Um, repairs. Uh, if, you have a, if you have a house or if you have a, a duplex, uh, anybody with experience knows that, that things, things break in houses. Pipes burst. Um, things just go wrong. The electrical work has to be redone. Plumbing. Uh, needs to be uh, re, uh, replumbed, uh, you name it, things, things can go wrong at, at a second's notice. Uh, so you do, do you have a good handyman? Do you have uh, a good electrician? Uh, do you have a good plumber uh, lined up? Do you have a, a good team in back of you in case and when things go wrong? Uh, travel expenses. Uh, if you live far away from your premises or um, Wherever you go uh, to, to take care of things, to take care of your uh, take care of your rental property, you're going to have travel expenses. Uh, your renter decides not to pay the bill. You've got to go there to collect uh, to collect rent. Uh, again, doing repairs, um, or if you just want to check on your property every once in a while to make sure the person that rented it hasn't trashed it, um, you're going to have travel expenses. Uh, if you have a full-time job, this could run into an issue uh, of not only overseeing uh, your rental property or rental properties uh, to pay them proper attention, um, but taking on a full-time job as well. Um, getting back to your mortgage, um, do you have your you know do you have your closing costs down? Do you know how much money in closing costs you're going to have to pay for your mortgage? Uh, usually, these can be rolled into the loan, but if you uh, wanted to pay them up front and get them out of the way, do you have that set aside for them as well? Um, so obviously you're going to have um, uh, rent coming in uh, to offset some of your expenses. Um, so those are just the, the general expenses that I've gone through with, with my rental properties. Uh, let's go over some benefits now and uh, we'll go over some of the pluses of owning your uh, owning a property. Um, Interest is uh, interest paid on your mortgage is deductible as a business expense. Um, each year you get to uh, write off the value of the land that you've purchased uh, in a form of depreciation. Uh, appreciation. Uh, generally, uh, properties will appreciate between 3 and 6% a year. Um, that hasn't been the case over the last several. 
but uh, given a decade or more, you should see between a three and five percent return. So before buying a rental property, think of this as a long-term investment, uh, much like you would a stock. Uh, travel expenses, uh, you also get to write off travel expenses. Again, uh, check with your accountant on everything that I'm giving you here. This is just uh, for informational purposes only. Um, so check with your accountant. There may be some additional uh, write-offs that you can take that I haven't mentioned here. Um, so uh, that all being said, being a landlord isn't for anybody. Uh, I know that, uh, again, there are bargains out there. Uh, you really have to determine whether you have the... Uh, the personality, uh, patience, uh, if you're handy around the house is a tremendous help. Um, and you also need to know the tenant landlord, uh, landlord rules. Uh, they vary from state to state and it's extremely important uh, that before taking any action against a tenant or deciding not to even rent to somebody of, of knowing the law before you take any actions. Um, you'll also want to consider putting your uh, investment property into an LLC or uh, incorporating your business. Uh, if one of your tenants does uh, do, so, you know, if they do die or they slip and fall or if they decide to sue you for any reason, they are suing the company, uh, not you. Um, if you don't incorporate your uh, your property, you're putting everything that you own at risk. Uh, so. Consult a lawyer before you do anything. Uh, before you, uh, you know, before you put out a lot of money and, and uh, think that all you're going to have to do is pay for your mortgage and, and a couple of random expenses that are going to pop up. Um, really do some thought into it and really do your due diligence before you get into anything. Um, owning real estate can be uh, can really set you up for a, a, a wealth a wealth of life a lifetime of wealth. Uh, you can can you know keep bringing in a uh, monthly rent, uh, capture your appreciation. You can uh, do a refi and take cash out once you have some equity built into the place. So there's a lot of positives. Um, there can also be a lot of negatives. So, so make sure that you know what you're getting into. This is uh, Larry Lane for InvestorsZoo.com. If you have any questions or you'd like to post a blog of your own and give back to our community. You can reach us at InvestorZoo.com. Thanks and have a great day.